Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Cybernaut GG, Josh Astro, whatever you want to call me. And welcome to a two and a half plus hour video of The Inheritance of Crimson Manor. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this one. I really thoroughly enjoyed the actual gameplay of it. Uh, and I hope that you guys actually enjoy the overall gameplay of it as well. Uh, Wednesdays and Sundays, I'm going to be doing indie horror games, specifically games that I find on GameJoel or IndieDB or any of those websites. Uh, I'll also be including links to both my Twitch channel as well as to the game itself down in the description of this video. So please feel free to check them out. Would appreciate a follow if you haven't already. And hope you enjoyed the video. But yeah, so like I said, the games we're playing today are going to be indie games that I found on GameJoel. Uh, all of them were free to download. Some of them were, like I said, name your price if you wanted to support the developers that way. Um, a lot of these games are still in development, so they may be demos or they may be like early access versions of the game. So they may not be completed versions. The games may break and everything. So I'm taking that into consideration whenever I'm actually looking at these games and playing through them. Um, the most important factor I want to I want to give out is that even if the game is awful, I do not want any negativity going towards the developer saying, hey, get a better, you know, do better at your games. And I definitely want you guys to be a little bit open minded with some of these developers because, I mean, they're indie developers. This might be their first, maybe second game. They may not have the type of experience that you see in games like Phasmophobia or Forewarn, Devour. Uh, and even those games have a tendency to break. And those games are, you know, updated regularly and everything. So. With that being said, the first game we're going to play, you see here in the background, is it's actually called The Inheritance of Crimson Manor. Um, here's the link. Do you have any Xbox recommendations? I need some horror games for Xbox. Man, I can't keep playing Outlast Trilogy. Um, let me take a look into that, Cynical. I don't know too many games that are specifically on Xbox. Um, I know Alien Isolation is. I don't know if you've played that. Uh, if you have, that's a really fun game to try out. Um, I'm trying to think of another... I can't think of any off the top of my head, so I'll have to look. Yeah, some people put out a game because it's what they want, not to make people money. All the positive. Exactly, exactly. Uh, f oh, Layers of Fear 1 and 2. That is very, that is very, those are, those are good games. And as Madness said, yeah, um, they want to make the game because it's something that they just have in their mind and they want to push out there. They're not here to make money for it. They're here for entertainment purposes. And throwing negativity or shade, I don't, I, I will say this. I do not expect any of you guys, and I will say this because I love my community, love the community that's been built. Um, like it's like you guys are incredible human beings, and I know that you guys would never go to a indie developer's page. But I do want to also include that I am including where I'm going to actually take this part of the archive and put it on my YouTube channel, and I'm going to break it up per game. So that's kind of what I wanted to mention as well. These videos will go specifically to my youtube channel as well just as a means to kind of showcase the games and be able to say hey look i played your game i really enjoyed it here's some constructive criticism here's some feedback here's what my community said about it uh just that kind of stuff like that but just because i am going to be posting this on youtube does not mean i won't be reading chat i will be reading chat i'll be getting your like your guys's opinions i'll be I'll, i'd love to hear how you guys feel about the game as i'm going through them um, and I did just post the link to this game, The Inheritance of Crimson Manor. Um, so far, it looks, I mean, I had to do the beginning sequence specifically so I can check audio levels and everything um, and quality. And it, I mean, it seems like it might be a pretty good game. Uh, I tried to stream Alien Isolation, but it won't allow me to stream it currently. Oh, that's not good. Why is it, what is it doing if it's, if you don't mind me asking? But with that being said, let's jump over to our in game scene here. And we're going to go ahead and get started. No, I didn't want to do that. Oops. I wanted to do the intro sequence again. Already starting off strong, guys. All right, back to menu. Confirm. I mean, the game looks fantastic. So we're going to reset the game. We're going to click new game. And we're going to go in. After working for more than 10 years as the private ass assistant of the enigmatic railroad magnate Hadley Strange, the news of his sudden death along his entire family takes you by surprise. Now you have been appointed as the executor in charge of fulfilling his last will and take care of his majestic manor, a luxurious property on the outskirts of London. Upon your arrival at the mansion, you found a cryptic set of instructions that could make you change your mind about who your former employer was. So you're saying that this game does not allow broadcasting and my stream will go dark on the game. Um, you may have to turn off um, 
uh, that one thing for like, like uh, that blocks like um, um, streaming uh, in your settings. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, are you streaming through Xbox? Yes, yes. The Victorian Post, Daily Edition, Sunday, September 25th, 1892, one half penny. Okay, cool. Uh, tragedy in the Thames. Members of the renowned Strange family have lost their lives in a tragic and mysterious boat accident. Interesting. Um, our members of the renowned Strange family have lost their lives in the tragic in a tragic and mysterious boat, boat accident. Of course. The reasons for the accident are still unknown. Rescuers continue to search re, uh, search for the bodies of the five members of the strange family. Of course, I hope that works for you. So we got a nice top hat. Can I wear it? Oh, yes, I love these types of games. So as you can see, the um, the 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 way to open doors is hold left mouse click and, and open. All right, nothing unusual here. Nothing unusual here. So we got this cane. All right. Some umbrellas. Okay, the door seems to be unlocked, but one doorknob is missing. Find a way to open the door to the hall. Well, it seems as if, I assume that, that's a hairbrush. Uh, can I use the, no, okay. Um, I assume that, this is a very strange, like, <laughs> like I, I, okay, I'm here for it. Oh, there's more. Dear probate conservator, by express instructions of the deceased, you are the only person authorized to enter his office and give initial reading of his will. Please do so as soon as possible in order to locate the heirs and proceed with the corresponding testament, uh, testamentary process. P.S. One of the front doorknobs has been damaged during my visit. Please add it to the pending repairs list prior to the execution of the will. I have placed the fallen knob inside one of the bottom drawers on the entrance closet. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's a beautiful stop. Obviously, um, it looks like... Oh, it looks like the... Okay. Obviously. So, the time is reading 3.30. No. The time is reading... The time is reading uh, 12.30. Or 12.15. I don't know how to read stopwatches, guys. Can you... <laughs> the time is reading... Uh... There we go. There we go. 12.15. Uh, 12, Oh shoot, phone is dying. I'm gonna let it charge in a little bit while I'm packing. I'll be back. All right, Madness, thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate you. Appreciate you coming in. No, I, I wanted to open that. Doorknob. Cool. All right. Open. I had to open the inventory. Okay. Equipped. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Find Mr. Strange's private office and look for his will inside the desk. Map. Okay, so we have a map now. Oh, wow. This is a really big... Obviously, it's a manor, so it's likely going to... I assume it's going to be big. So this is supposed to be a horror game, so I'm, it's, I'm curious to see how it works. There is an attic and there is a basement. So I assume that the... I assume that the... The room that I'm looking for, the private office, is going to be this private room right here. So let's go over there. Uh, let's see. Pipe tobacco. Okay. All right. On helio heliography paper. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. I didn't have time to read that. So this is Hadley and Nicholas Strange. Uh Circa 1883. Oh, very nice. So Hadley is the young one, I assume. All right. These are some nice spectacles you got, friend. All right. Just dusty old stacks of papers, but I was looking at the vase. The vase. Oh. Jar full of clippings and literature about murderers and serial killers. Oh, okay. Interesting. Door is locked. All right. 
my little doll room. Oh no. I don't like this. I don't like that. The the noise of the uh of putting that away kind of kind of scared me, I'm not going to lie. All right. Ooh. Criminal Instinct, Crimson Blood. Ooh. Written by Azorin Red Publishing. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going in and It's more ominous that I know this is a horror game and I'm like on edge already. <laughs> All right. Dis Dear Miss Thomas, I have lost my pocket watch somewhere in my office. I count on your valuable collaboration to find it. When done, please leave the key to my desk inside the mail organizer in the hall outside the library. Okay. It's oh. a nice set of binoculars you got there, sir. Looks like some ink. Some more ink. All right. Okay. Yeah, knowing that it's a uh, horror game is leaving me on edge. <laughs> so we're gonna go up here because I think I think this door said it was locked. No, it wasn't. It's very ominous. Like the music is very nice. I don't, can you guys hear the music? I s yeah, I think you guys can hear the music. It just might be a little quiet. Hey, espresso. Hello. Hi. Let's see. How are you doing, espresso? Did you finally eat? I feel bad, Astro. I haven't been as involved as I used to in your streams. You do not have to feel bad about that, cynical. I haven't been as involved in your streams either. I mean, we're on different time zones in terms of like what we do. Oh, look at this cigar. It says unsmoked, too. How are you, Espresso? She went to the cobblers to buy him some shoes, but she came back. He was reading the news. Huh. All right, then. I'm good. I'm good. The Scarlet Widow. So I'm getting a lot of vibes. So there's a staircase with blood leaking down it. Um... Now there's this uh, this lady right here about to stab this guy. I'm just gonna make sure nobody's about to stab me in the back. I'm still like on edge because I know this is supposed to be a horror game, but I'm doing very well, Espresso. I'm doing very well. Um, all right, so this is um, okay, okay. So this is gonna be important. This is a knife. Okay. The brave leg legionary soldier switched his side. He wears off his red uniform to wear a green one. Now with a colorful, f now with co colorful feathers, blue hat, and high boots and black, he wields a y long saber now, always ready and always sharp. He then started to march, willing even to lose his life to protect the lives of those who, with devotion and loyalty, fight along him, protecting the right cause. Stabby, stabby. Um. Honestly, uh, expecting to get stabby stabby here pretty soon. Again, this is a this this game has a very amnesic vibe to it. Okay, find a way and open the desk drawer. All right, so this is his a wax seal. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so that's the I assume the ink. Did I just... Oh. <laughs> Did you see... You guys see that shadow right there? That scared me. I was like, what? Alright. This is how I actually interact with all of my friends' houses when I'm looking through their stuff. I just leave their drawers and stuff wide open. Okay. So we have to find a way into his, uh... In that desk drawer. He said inside of the... So I assume this is the library. Yes.
Nothing seems to happen. It seems I need some kind of power source. Oh, no. Power. Ooh. Uh, I do repent, but heaven hath pleased it so to punish me with this and this with me, that I must be their scourge and minister. I will bestow him and will answer well the death I gave him. So again, good night. I must be cruel only to be kind. Thus bad begins and worse remains behind. This is perhaps my favorite line from Shakespeare's work. Alrighty then. All right, so I assume that this is going to be another. Um, um, this is going to be another. Uh, this is another puzzle. Because that right there says S T U V W X Y Z. All right. Well, that's obviously the alphabet. <laughs> Good job, me. I know my ABCs. New time in the Marine Corps would help me with that. The Raven. All right. Another puzzle. So this is a uh, puzzle-styled game, as you guys can tell. I'm still, again, waiting for the horror aspect to come out. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Let's see. Another puzzle right there. Okay. The Butcher of Oxford Street. So guy in a black and a lady. So... There, I don't. I can't tell if there's like some type of um, method to that. I don't like this word. Every time my father yells it, it makes us take more medicines of the strange taste that makes me feel weird. Especially the most recent red one. I never want to take it again. Um, I don't see. That's the thing. I have to figure out the. Uh, there, there's something obviously I'm missing with the actual like puzzles and everything, which we'll get to. Um, what's in here? Door's locked. I don't like that there's a run feature. Alright, desk key. Alright. Desk door's locked. Alright. Typewriters. All right. So again, another puzzle. I assume I'll find more information about that. Along with the will, there is a note that reads, "Listen to my, ch listen to the, listen to the child, so that the old man reveals my secret legacy." We must pay attention to our children. Sometimes they have key things to be said in key unusual ways, in very unusual ways. Okay. I'm trying to think. God, this is. Where's the ch ch uh, the child's room? The game room's over here, so I assume that I'll be able to go that way. Um, do I have the will? Did I pick up the will? Because I don't like. Along with the will, there's a note that reads, "Why, why, why don't we just pick up the will?" <laughs> Um, let's see. So master bedroom right here, double double room right here, bedroom right here, family room. So the library is right there. I was where I was a second ago. Right now I'm in the study. The bar room's over here. I think the bar room is locked though. Um, game room. Because the art room's locked. Don't think there's a way from yeah. These this room's locked. Um, where, uh, there has to be something I'm missing, right? Oh, that's cool. Cool. Okay. Um. Beautiful sea route planning world map. Interesting. Oh, after traveling around the world to explore three different remote islands, my way of seeing the world changed forever. Hmm. I wonder. Where did all the people in the chat go? Yeah, it's all good. They just went to Lurt. I know that a lot of, like, everybody has their own lives. I'm not worried about it. Um, 
I appreciate anybody who comes in here regardless if they chat or not. Let's see. So I assume we're in London. So we're, we're right outside of London over here in the UK. So I don't know where the other... He doesn't give me any clues to that. Oh. So I assume we're like right around here. I'm not sure what I have to do with that. I'm here for you. Always online, Bessie. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Can I just take one of those? Because those do look really good. All right. Uh, let's see. This was Saturday, February 27th, 1889. Uh, the Red Publishing Company, One Penny, uh, written by Robbie Zillins. Interesting. So we have to keep an eye on the... We have to keep an eye looking out for clues and everything for some of these riddles. Yes. Alright. It's like right here. There's a puzzle right there. So let me go back to the library. Take a look around. Because I'm pretty sure there is something here that I'm missing. Um, I must be cruel only to be kind. I must be cruel to only to be kind. Uh, I'm trying to think of where that would take, a f where that would come into effect. Because that's circled and it's a Shakespeare. It's from Shakespeare. So I assume that that is possibly going to be the answer to one of the riddles. Ugh. What Shakespearean uh, book? What Shakespeare? What, what Shakespearean uh, reference is that from? So this is written by Caleb Fritz, butchered Oxford Street, March 6th, 1889. So these are pretty close in terms of like uh, time, like date wise. Um, and of course, I don't like this word. Every time my father yells it, he makes us take more medicines. Kenny, hello! With a strange taste. That, how are you doing, Kenny? I appre appreciate seeing you here. Like That makes me feel weird, especially the most recent red one. I never want to take that again. That quote is from Hamlet, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, Hamlet? Oh, well, I don't know if I'll be able to... Nope, it takes me right back to the ABC. Okay. Uh, where would that come into effect? Where would I... Where, I mean, the only place I could think of putting Hamlet would be the typewriter, right? What is this? What is this? Oh, so this is swapping. Okay, so this one this one should be relatively easy, right? <laughs> I'm okay, just a little anxious being about the weather here, but overall pretty good. Okay, well, I hope that the weather doesn't get too bad for you. All right. Um, I don't see the in the like is that right there. So it's right there. Um, right there. Where would the end of the drum be? I think the drum would be over here. Me like this, like this. Yeah, I think it'd be like this, and then this one maybe right there. That one. No. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay, I, I see it now. I see it now. Um, no, not like that. Would this one be. Because there his ar there's his arm right there. Uh, I assume this one's probably gonna be right there. Okay, so it's gonna be something like this, right? But I just gotta figure out. I wonder. Oops. 
No. Because this goes right here. Because you can see right there. Uh, oh. Oops. Maybe? Maybe it's like this? <laughs> hmm. Look at the pike in the background. Yeah, I, I am. The pike in the background right there. That's what I was looking at a second ago. Because uh, it comes from this guy right here. So I, I know that these three are in the right order. We just got to figure out where this guy. Yeah, I think it's right there. And then right there. It just took me a second. Okay, I, I, you know it happens. A gas lighter. Ooh. Examine. May this seal guide you to what's hidden from the human eye. So we got our first puzzle done, guys. Good job. Is that when the horror aspect starts? It does say this is a horror game, right? Um, narrative horror puzzle game set in a beautiful... Okay, cool. So just so if you guys already... Lord Farquaad, hello! Um, if you guys didn't see the, the link earlier, this is the link for the game. Like I said, all of these indie games that I'm playing today... We're specifically from Game Jolt. They're all free. How are you doing, Farquad? How are you? It's good to see you again. Long time no talk. Long time no conversation. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. So I need power for that. I'm good in yourself, brother. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just playing around, trying to figure out uh, this game because it's kind of, it's kind of intense. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so A B C D E F. So. I wonder. Ah. Interesting. A, B, C, D, E, F. There are six books. I can move them around. And I'm supposed to move them around in an, in an order that I guess makes a name? What name can come out of A, B, C, D, E, F? There must be a code somewhere. There must be, yeah. I must be cruel only to be kind. This is perhaps my favorite line from a Shakespeare's work. Hmm. I haven't looked at most of the paintings, and I'm kind of afraid to, because, again, horror narrative, I assume. You know, the worst. So this clock says it is currently... That is really off. It should be... It's supposed to be, what, 10.03? The... Our hand should not be that far in, that far out. Anyway, anyway, are you gonna are you gonna look at me? Are you gonna stare at me? That's what I'm afraid of. Like the eyes moving and like the paintings just like moving. Anyway, all right. That's where I got the key at. Whew. Doors locked. This dude did have a. V I was about to say a very good taste in art, but then I saw this one and I got really confused. <laughs> Like, very confused. <laughs> Anybody know who made this art? <laughs> oh, I can I can zoom in. Tiny Naked Man? Yeah, Tiny Naked <laughs> Alright. I can, I can, I didn't realize I can, I can zoom in. Anyway. Um, okay. Oh, I know this. So, this one should be relatively simple, right? I assume... I'd say this one should be relatively simple. And yet... I assume that guy's gonna need boots. Maybe like this? Uh, no, I know those are the heads. Those are correct heads. Those are good. 
So it's really the pants at this point. Maybe? Or do you guys think maybe the uh, the green outfit needs the hat? But if the green outfit gets that hat, that dude gets that hat. Or maybe this. But that wouldn't match, would it? I'm sort of I'm thinking. Let me do this. Put that right there. No. Does the picture in the bottom get the design that you're supposed to use? It says, oops, that's the thing. It really doesn't. <laughs> Top and the bottom are more. Yeah, it's just um, they're, they're the same guys. They're just um. Yeah, it's just literally one guy. Uh, I'm assuming. I'm assuming this is how it's supposed to look, because, well, wait, this is how it's supposed to look. So now I just need the pants and the shoes. Maybe? Can you hear that? Yeah, so these pants work for that. No, really, the pants work for any of them. It's just trying to figure out. I assume... I don't think the images on top match up with any of the boots. They don't. Um, they really don't, unfortunately. Um, I would assume that this guy... That the guy with the... Uh, Just feels right. Maybe that's a green hat. Mm. Rude. <laughs> Wait, is that how it's supposed to look? Wait, I didn't put that there. What? I don't know. This is confusing. Alright, we'll come back to that. <laughs> I can't believe one of those puzzles is beating my butt. And yet, that's supposed to be like one of the easier ones. Alright. Um, this one again, Scarlet Witch. Or Scarlet Widow, I mean. Scarlet Witch, really. Kind of seems like none of them match up. It really does, doesn't it? Because I've tried, like, I think I've tried every combination. I'm just going to do this. We're going to try literally every combination. Because I feel like this would, this is. Somehow it's going to end up working. All right. I have faith. Yeah, none of them match up. Maybe that's just a waste of my time. Freaking root. Oh, you can crouch. Oops. Did not know that. All right. Anyway, we're going to head back to the main room. Now we're going to go upstairs. Look how freaking terrifying that looks. <laughs> Door's locked. Looks like Dracula. It really does, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. He's gonna come back from the dead and kill me now, just because you, just because we said that. Who? Nope. I'm gonna put that right back in there and close this drawer. <laughs> I, I. I Has that chandelier always been moving? She took a clean dish to get him some tripe, but when she came back, he was smoking a pipe. These are riddles. I need these for some. I need these for something. There's another one somewhere else. So remember this. She took a clean dish. 
What is what was that in the bottom right corner? Hello? What the fuck are safety matches? Um Obviously not dangerous matches. Come on, Azrin. <laughs> Safer than, you know, those other types of matches, I guess. Anyway, um, she took a clean dish to get him some tripe, but when she came back, he was smoking his pipe. All right, cool. It's a really good riddle. I like that. Door's locked. A lock resembles a coat of arms. Safer than exploding matches? You ain't wrong. All right. What? All right. It seems something is missing here. There's an engraving in that and below. The lineage is eternal. I assume that I need something there. Um, and I assume that when that happens, I will likely... An imposing <laughs> portrait of Mr. Strange, his gaze is, was always cold and hard. Hard and cold. Alright. She took a clean dish to get him some tripe, but when she came back, he was smoking a pipe. I like that. That's really good. Alright. So let's look at everything in this room real quick. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Alright, I'm going to put you back. So this one says the same time. The old clock doesn't seem to work. I probably just summon Cthulhu or something. <laughs> so just so you guys are aware, this game is still in uh, development, so there might be some things that I can't do yet. Um, tripe is a type of edible lining from the stomachs of various farm animals. Most tripe is from cattle, pigs, and sheep. Thank you for that informative information, Farquaad. I appreciate that. That's actually very informative, very helpful. Where was the other uh, one of those? Uh, it's too much. Okay. Sounds like the casing of sausages or hot dogs. Yeah. Could be. Wait, no, look at that again. I think I see, I think I know what you're talking about. I think I know what you're about to talk about. Where was it? Was it the bottom one? Yeah. So, the green hat. Okay. Okay. So... So this, oops, hold up, hold up, I'll get there eventually. How did I not do that before? Excuse me? Game? Hold on, okay, so first and foremost, you guys saw me, I did that already. <laughs> Maybe that was literally the only one that I skipped. I think it forced you to find the image. I actually saw the image already, that's the thing. Alright, so I assume I'm going to need the... Uh, this for this doesn't work here. Never mind. All right, cool. That's super weird. Yeah, I might just I might have just missed that one. All right, so E U R K E. Eureka. <laughs> Excuse me. And after ordering the block spelling the word, they stay fixed in this position. What? What did that do? What did that... It didn't... What did... What did that do? Something down here? No? Okay. Alright. Cool. Cool. Uh, I heard a thump. Maybe it's outside? This door? Maybe? We. Nope. It's locked. Alright. Cool. Did I just, like, release something that I shouldn't have? Is that, is that what I did? Maybe up here? No? Okay. Interesting. No idea what that did. I did hear a clunk. That's it. it didn't drop something in here because it's the same thing that was in there earlier. Um. Okay. He makes us take more medicines with a strange taste that makes me feel weird, especially the most recent one. I never want to take it again. So, I wonder if that deposited some medicine somewhere, or... I wonder, maybe that was upstairs? I don't know what that went to, but I feel like we will find out soon. <laughs> Possibly. Maybe. Um... 
All right, so now to, on to this one. A, B, C, D, E, F. Um, what is a good name that can include the f first, six letter first six letters of the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F. Or it doesn't even have to be a name. Um, then you'll have to... Then you'll have to yell, Eureka! Right? Um, there, there's, there has to be something that I'm missing in terms of this one right here because this hasn't i haven't done anything with this yet i do repent let me see but heaven hath pleased it so to punish me with this and this with me that i must be their scourge and minister i will bestow him and will answer well the death i gave him so again good night i must be cruel only to be kind i must be cruel what game is this this is called crimson manor um, there's the link. It's a free indie horror uh, puzzles type type game. Um, really love it. Really, really enjoying it so far. Um, Thus bad begins and worst remains behind. I looked it up and there aren't any words that use all six letters. Okay. I'm just curious. Does it have, is it something that necessarily isn't related to all six? Like doesn't have to actually spell out a word. I'm thinking maybe it'll be like a, a coder of some sort. Um, there has to be something that I'm missing in the library that's going to tell me the answer to this. You should read audiobooks for money. What? <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> All right, let's go check on the, uh, let's go make sure none of the paintings changed. Uh, we still have our, our tiny little our tiny little naked man. You have a really good audio voice? Aw, oh, thank you. No, she was saying that because um my voice. Alright, so we have the serpent with the three ladies. Alright. I'm assuming it might have to do something with... After traveling around the world to explore three different remote islands, my way of seeing the world... <laughs> Fitting. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, should narrate for audiobooks. No, Azrin, I was confused at first because I was like, I should read audiobooks? Like, is that a thing that we can do now? Is... <laughs> That's why I was confused at first, but I appreciate that, Em. I, I appreciate that you think I have a, a nice voice. All right, so I already found that. Um, there's nothing in here. The binoculars. Let's see if there's anything on the binoculars. I'm afraid to be looking. Oof! I'm afraid to be looking at this and see like a reflection of something behind me. I don't see anything that would be helpful on those. I haven't opened this. Ooh. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. Continental Union. Telegram. Date: November fifth, night eighteen ninety two. From Royal Scientific Council to Mister Hadley Strange. I guess Hadley Strange is actually the older one. In this honorable scientific council, we see with extreme concern the conclusion submitted in your article about the research titled Eugenic Transliteration. Transliteration. The procedures described in your paper are beyond unacceptable to the ethical values of this scientific body and must be stopped immediately. Be fulfilled. All right. Interesting. Interesting. So that's unhelpful. It might be helpful later, but that's unhelpful for right now. <laughs> so this gives me the map. Um, this is some tobacco, red line tobacco. Uh, his glasses. I don't necessarily see anything. Uh, so I assume Nicholas is the younger one, then Hadley's the older one. Excuse me. The chandelier still moving. I don't like that. All right. This one is Crimson Blood, Zoran Zek, March 13th, 1889. This is the one that has the blood coming down from the ominous painting in the middle of the room. Um, let's close those. Nothing else in there. Interesting. Let's take a look up here again, maybe. The door is locked. The lock resembles a coat of arms. Can anybody advise me what a coat of arms is? That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna look for that other, uh, other little 
puzzle, I guess, or the other riddle. Okay, so Garner's black letter ink, a house symbol. Okay, coat of arms. And then the twins that I'm going to just go ahead and miserably put away. Oh, I didn't read this. Can I even read that? I want to read that. Can I read? Oh. So a lion on a shield is a coat of arms. Ah, okay. Very interesting. The door is locked. I don't like the fact that the chandelier is still moving. <laughs> Can we talk about that for a second? Oh. A nautical compass. So right now it is it is it is not pointing north, it's pointing north northeast. So more about twenty about thirty five. At about thirty, at about thirty, at about thirty, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I haven't looked in here yet. So this is we're making good we're making progress, team. We're making progress. No, we're not. I have absolutely no idea what that's gonna be for. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I guess literally the only room that I can really go into it, or the only play, place I can really go into right now is the library and the study. Let's see. Where's that other... Um... Here it is. She went to the cobblers to buy him some shoes, but when she came back, he was reading the news. Alright, so we can go and close these. And wait, is that something down there? No, okay. Um, so that compass was was sitting at about right here, so north northeast ish. I don't know. Oh no, not the news. Oh no, <laughs> there is another one right here. Um, with I assume to be Chinese characters. I don't think this is Japanese. I don't recognize any of these symbols. Um, so these could, these could be Chinese characters. Um, this does look like a Chinese type of decoration. So I'm not entirely sure what that's about. Um, and there is another one right here. And I'm trying to think of what we could put in there. Because we did have the note right here. We must pay attention to our children. Sometimes they have key things to be said in very unusual ways. And it's showing the a thing of building blocks and then the typewriter. So I'm assuming that we need to find a set of building blocks. I don't have access to the playroom yet, which as you can see, the playroom is downstairs. I was just looking at it. The playroom, the game room is right here. I don't have access to that room just yet because that door is locked. So we have to figure out a way to find the key for that door. And I'm still curious about what this did. After ordering the blocks, spelling the words, they stay fixed in this position. And there's nothing in those. Um, nothing happened to you. Oof. What is uh? What was the other item I had? Got a gas lighter and a chemical battery. A modern device that stores electrical energy. Interesting. And this is just the, especially the most recent red one. I never want to take that again. Oops. So I got to figure out what that is. And of course, this door is locked. Um, I think that door leads to that door. This door will lead to where I can go into the ballroom. Okay, cool. Okay. <gasps> oh! When you are open to look at problems from a near perspective, even the darkest situations suddenly become clear. over here on this side okay there's a pattern okay so we have to look at this pattern I don't see anything <laughs> do you guys see a pattern 
Or am I just going crazy? Because there's a pattern up here as well. Um, I already got that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and look back at that picture real quick. Okay. So he's standing kind of above the table, kind of where I was just standing, maybe a little bit more to the right, and he was staring at the bottom four. Okay. Put that away. So he's standing like right there. With these bottom four little bookshelves. I don't know why I have a sprint button. Hello there. Yo. Hold up. My god. Is this a... Is this what I think it is? Is this a... Is this one of those things that's called the uh, Stealth Raids from Stack Up? Um, do I have a moderator in here that can give a huge shout out to Stack Up? Um, wow. Okay. Thank you guys. Um, Deity, Shanghai Six, Body Equal Talon, Scatch, uh, Reventos, Barracoda, Darth Swag Gaming, Perky Daisy, of course. Thank you so much for that. There's 100 bits. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are insane. Thank you so very much. I truly do appreciate that. Very, very, very appreciative. You guys are awesome. Everybody, please, um, as you guys know, uh, Iskillium, thank you so much for the follow as well. Everybody, as you guys know, uh, last year, and a little bit later on this year, probably, I'm I'm hoping, and I'm thinking in May for Memorial Day, we'll be doing another charity event, charity fundraiser for Stack Up, and I'm really excited about that one because I have a lot of plans for it. Um, last year, we raised just over $5,600 for Stack Up for the entire year, and I couldn't be more grateful to know an, um, an even more amazing community than Stack Up. So if you're not already, go follow Stack Up on all of the social media platforms you can, from Twitter, Twitch, uh whatever they're an incredible resource for anybody who has any type of mental health issues uh they have resources available open to both veterans and civilians alike and they also have a lot of really awesome opportunities for both military and veterans as well your voice would sound great on an audiobook why does everybody keep saying that it's absolutely because of this uh because of this um pop filter now that i got with the uh with the new boom arm stand that we got but no stack up thank you guys so very much for the stealth raid truly do appreciate it you guys are incredible human beings starts <laughs> darth thank you so much i hope you're doing well darth it's nice it's nice to, it's nice to virtually talk to you again <laughs> but no thank you guys so very much like that I, that means that means the world to me truly do appreciate it um wow i am i'm at a loss for words uh <laughs> Uh, I hope your Wednesday meeting went well. Uh, I'll definitely have to jump in on on one in the future. Or uh, I'm surprised Perky hasn't been like uh, harassing me about joining joining some of those. But yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much. Um, so to the game itself, I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> I've been behaving for now. I appreciate you, Perky. Thank you so much. I know you're an incredible human being. Um, I'm very uh. Very, very happy, very happy to have met you and been able to uh, been able to work with you in the past. So I appreciate that. And hopefully this up, hopefully this upcoming season, you guys can break big goals because you guys deserve it more than any other, any other organization I know, just based on what you do. So thank you. Not at work though. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Rat row. Azrin, uh, do you see anything in this that would? <laughs> I don't know what to I don't know how to handle this like I don't know what to do with this I mean it said let's go back and read that again because I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking at there maybe it's more than just those four bookshelves more, maybe that's just like a way to uh, confuse me when you are open to look at problems from a near perspective let's say near perspective right from a new perspective okay uh when you are open to look at problems from a new perspective, even the darkest situations suddenly become clear. So, what it's showing me right here... See, I don't know. Audiobook voice. 
Look, I'm doing my best, okay? <laughs> Here, I got you, I got you, I got you. When you are open to look at problems from a new perspective, even the darkest situations suddenly become clear. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take my, uh, I'll take my, my payment and Venmo. Take my money now. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm assuming. All right. So, bedtime stories. I'm gonna um I'm gonna do uh, velvety smooth. Oh boy. See, I used to used to get that a lot. Um, that's why I started commentating a while back. But I don't know. So it says like right here. Like it's. This is called Crimson Man uh, Manor. It's supposed to be a horror type of narrative puzzle. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, it's a really good game though. I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying the atmosphere of it. Um, and I'm waiting for the scares and everything. We've been light. We've been on it for about an hour, hour and ten minutes, about an hour, about an hour. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if we're going to continue playing it or if I'm going to do try to figure out this puzzle and then go from there and um, go to the next indie game. Because my what I'm going to start doing is Wednesdays are going to be my indie game days. It talks about changing your perspective. Maybe look up when you're down there. Let me stand in the direction, like in the area where he stay, like the picture is, but like below it, and then right here, maybe it's like this. See, I don't. Have you heard of Satisfactory? I have, Jim. I have. I'm trying to figure out. I I feel like. So let's see. Maybe if I just. I don't, I don't know. See, that's the thing. I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm going to end up absolutely addicted. I made a milkshake. I am jealous. Because you can see, like... Hold up. I'll get back to that. <laughs> I'll get back to how it's supposed to be. Oh. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Chalky milkshake cured the depresso because I can't drink espresso right now. Oh, you s that that was surprisingly a rhyme when it shouldn't have been. I don't know how to I don't know how to feel about that one. I'm sorry, espresso queen. I hope your I hope your evening gets better. Do you think this has something to do with the um? See, that's the thing. I don't know if this has something to do with the puzzle in here, that puzzle right there, or if this has something to do with this puzzle in here, um, this one. What does the ceiling under the shelves there look like? This one? Everything looks normal. Fine, it's okay. Yeah, everything looks normal. Um, I can't jump. That's disappointing. Yeah, everything looks fine. Uh, I'm not seeing any, like, any notes or anything. Um... Any like carvings or anything? It's also very hard to very hard to see. Hmm. I join in the corner. Hi, I'm normal. Ah, psh, who need, what's normal like anyway? What's normal life? Um, mi hoy minyo minyo minoy minoy. If I just what if I what if I be boop bop bop. I don't know. See, that's the that's the thing. A hey, Squidward. <laughs> what? Don't let that guy Squidward. I mean, <laughs> once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping rapping at my chamber door. Tick some visitor, I muttered, tapping on my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Ah, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. F is for friends. What does what does uh, what does Plankton say for F? I don't remember. 
U is F is for fire. U is for <laughs> yeah. Oh man, let's see. Okay, so that burns down the whole town. There you go. There you go. Let's see. U is for uranium. Bomb. <laughs> See, I'm not seeing anything that would like that that like stands out to me. This I have to say, the developers of this game. So the developers of this game, they're they're uh, Homeros. Homeros? 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 Probably pronounced that wrong. And if the developers watch this, I do apologize. Um, you guys did fan flipping tastic. With the with the way that this game's atmosphere is set and how everything, wait a minute, how everything's kind of um just difficult and everything like nothing against like it being difficult. I love the difficulty of it, but it's so oh boy. What we probably should do, since we've been live on this one for just over an hour, I don't want to, I don't want to take too much time on one game, um. I will probably come back to this one on Sunday. So let's switch over. Can you move any of the books? I mean, I guess I can try. It's a really good. That's a really good uh, thought thought process on that. Let me go down here. I'm gonna focus on these. I don't know if they would do that. They would make it so that you could you could move a book or something. OMG said, I volunteer to do it from now on. Okay, hold on. What? What? Remember when the spot in the city is too dangerous? To go to now, so you can't even visit? Oh, no. Do the bottom. One more time, please. Yeah. I'll do this. I'm going to do shelf by shelf so it's a little bit slower. Let's see. Is there any up here that I can move? Montalado? What is spelling? Who needs to know how to spell anyway? Hmm. Hmm. Dry sherry. <laughs> Must not. It was in that area, I thought. Yeah. Maybe. It was pointing. Let me see here. If I'm looking down like this, it's pointing to that book right there. It was a nice try for sure. I don't know. It's it's kind of it's kind of crazy that it's like that they've put this much effort into the game. I feel like the way that the books are set up should be a indicator. But they're all over the place. Why socks gotta go at the moment? <laughs> okay, no worries. I feel like yeah, I feel like these books, how they're taller and shorter in some situations, should be an indicator to something. Maybe Morse code. Maybe it's Morse code. So it'd be like dot dash. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Um, Sox said, why are you not coming ice skating, Emma? Oh. Yes, Emma, why are you not going ice skating? So he was standing like right here. Looking right there. These books right here. Maybe like the books in an inner cellar. Where you, where you look through them and you see your... Uh, your dad. Oh, no! <gasps> Wait. Why, why did I all of a sudden just have like a really good like thought process? Hold on to me. I can crouch. Just an FYI. Hmm. 
The watch is what did the Morse code? The watch is what did the Morse code? What do you mean the watch is what did the Morse code? Not Morse code, no differentiation in letters. Yeah, that's what I was that's what I was looking at. Uh, that's what I was thinking at least. There's a watch in here, right? Where did that watch go? <gasps> watch that here. Oh. <laughs> you had me excited, Jim. I thought you thought you had an idea. <laughs> Alright, that's we'll do one more run through. Wait, did I open these? I didn't. Nothing unusual here. I don't know what's happening. Catch me up. Uh, you, you and me both, man. You and me both. So that didn't actually have anything in it. Um, so what we're trying to do is... the the I got a new piece of, I guess, evidence. Uh, information. Uh, this right here. And it says... <coughs> When you are open to look at problems from a new perspective, even the darkest situations suddenly become clear. So, and it's pointing down kind of where I was standing a second ago. It kind of looks like it's pointing at an angle. Let's go back in here one more time. I wish I could bring that with me because, you know. Kind of looks like he's pointing at an angle, kind of like this right here. Go where the picture is looking and look up. Yeah, I tried that. Um, I kind of looked everywhere um, in terms of that. Uh, I'm a full screen from a different perspective. What about right here? <laughs> I just, I mean, look up from the floor. Mm. I did try that as well, but we'll try again. About right here. Here, and it'd be like this. Huh. Great song for your information. Thank you, Emma. <laughs> what would that be? Do you like this right here. Do you guys see anything? Like it's kind of pointing towards that book right there, which I'll go look at here in a second definitely the bottom shelves it is the bottom shelves but they said but it said from a new perspective and I assume that it's kind of how like Eskilium is that a dark is there a dark corner look up at the books look at the books the picture was from the dark corner there's a couple dark corners there's a dark corner right here dark corner over here right here it's those four shelves I don't know. <laughs> so it kind of was like. Wait. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't be backseat gaming. Didn't. No, 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 no. It's Killian. You are perfectly fine. This is one of those games where I'm like, I don't know what's going on, and I would love in input from the uh, from the community. That's perfectly fine to backseat on this one. I truly do appreciate you uh, you bringing that up though. Because this one says K, as in like, huh, get it. K with the four underneath it. Um, these are all H's. Wait. Those are K, that's a K. Um, I'm curious. I don't think the K has anything to do with it, unfortunately. The darkness will become clear. Has to have something to do with that. That's what I'm thinking. I'm turning my phone sideways and everything just to see from a new perspective. Thank you, Emma. I appreciate it. <laughs> but it's like everywhere is dark. Can I turn the light off? Why is the light still on? How are you paying for your electricity when you're dead, dude? Like This is the only dark corner, and it's only lighting up those books right there. I wonder...
Wait, is this a phone game? No, 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 no. This is, um, this is, uh, this game right here. Turn the light off. I wish I could. There's no light switch. And those don't look like they're actually working. Um, can I just, like, put these down? Um, this is an indie game that was developed on Game Jolt, or developed and I like, shared on Game Jolt. Wait. Why did I just hear wind? I just heard wind. Shoot out the lights. God, I wish. Where's my gun at when you need it? <laughs> I just heard wind. Um, we'll look at this one more time. The post between the shelves? I haven't been paying any attention to those yet. Anything on that? Um, I don't see anything on that one. What is the thing in the middle of the floor on the photo? In the middle of the floor. Talking about the chair? That is casting a shadow. Yeah, chair. Uh, it'd be this right here. The chair's not there. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> the chair was moved, was it? Or am I just stupid? No, it's this chair. Watch something. Watch it be on the chair. I'll be kind of disappointed in myself. Can I push the chair? Can I sit on the? Can I stand on the chair? I am a sick man. I gotta say, this is incredible. This game is called The Inheritance of Crimson Manor. I think the rug is slightly off. Okay, I don't need your ADHD. <laughs> your your ADHD to come into play here. I do too. I do too. Um, but you're right. It is a little off. But I love games like this that literally put in so much detail. No, I mean from the photo. Doesn't even look like the rug's there in the photo, <laughs> to be honest with you. Like, I can't even see the rug in the photo. I think I need this. I think I need this right here. Can you look at the back of the photo? Yeah, the back of the photo has that, uh... Has that, um... When you are open to look at problems from a new perspective, even the darkest situations suddenly become clear. Yeah. Um, I have to figure out what this is. I have this. I don't. Nothing happens. It seems that I need some kind of power source, which I assume. Maybe the lighter? For some odd reason? I just saw. Use the chemical battery on it? I tried to. I had it. See, you have to. You equip it. I, I did that earlier. I, I swear to God I did that earlier. I am angry. <sighs> I am so angry right now. I am so angry right now. You guys saw me equip that. Alright. These symbols are somewhat familiar to me, but there is something about them that does not fit. Thank you, Jim. Alright. Go upstairs and look from a different angle. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I'll from right to left. Ah, yes, yes, yes. It's not about reading. It's about putting this into the uh, thing that it needs to go into, which is dun, da, 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 in the study. <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and just turn that off. Is right here. Those symbols, yeah, perspective. There you go. So it'll be this one, and then this one, and then kind of like a pound symbol, and this one, and this one. I did. I'm not cheating. 
<laughs> Look, I spent way too much time on that puzzle, okay? <laughs> Leave me alone. Let me let me have my life, all right? The monocular. Press F. I, I need a key, though. <sighs> Press F to equip. Excuse me? Okay. Okay. So. Oh, Salomon. To Cuba. To Great Britain. To Madagascar. Looks like you have to leave the country. <laughs> right? Okay. So everybody remember those. Uh, remember those. I'll come with. I mean, I'm down. Anybody want to go to Le Salomon with me? I wonder if, uh, if there's anything else special about these that I need them for. Which, this actually reminds me. I do need to take this off. All right. Open the door. All right. Um, that compass was pointing northeast. Right? I wonder if it has something to do with this. Okay. So it automatically goes back to what appears to... I appear... I I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, that kind of looks like it's, it's kind of like defaulting back over there. I guess... So it started in, yeah, it started right there in Al Salomon. In the Salomon. Because um, it went this way, hit Cuba, and then went through, went down Great Britain, and then to Madagascar. What would that be? 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 And this says the monocle revealed the route of an expedition that began in Salomon Island, continued through Cuba, returned to Great Britain, and it ended in Madagascar. Okay. So this little po this little note right here says, after traveling around the world to explore three remote islands, my way of seeing the world changed forever. So I assume the three remote islands are going to be Salomon, Cuba, and Madagascar, because obviously Great Britain, like, you know, you know how it goes. Um, interesting. So it started with. I wonder. Seems to be some trigger mechanism. Oh yes, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, uh, uh, Salomon, something went wrong. Maybe I should try again. Oh, uh, Salomon. Yeah. Okay. So from there. Oh, wrong way. Thank you, Espresso. That's Africa. Where's Cuba? Right there? I guess. Great Britain. Okay, so I have to figure out, I have to like, I guess, go the exact route that, it, that he took. Because he said, as soon as I went to El Salomon. Because watch, as soon as I hit El Salomon, there seems to be some trigger mechanism. Oh, thank you, Espresso. I appreciate that. A 
Ooh. Okay, okay, guys, another one. Thank you so much for that host, Espresso. I appreciate that. So this one is showing again. This one's showing what appears to be twelve fourteen. The other one was showing <gasps> set hour. Okay, we'll come back to that. Didn't want that to do that. All right. There's two clocks. That's the thing. Is that's the thing, Azrin? You can take this nonsense off. So there's a clock right here, which we're going to start with this one. So this one again is um, halfway between ten and eleven, which shouldn't be that far in, but whatever. And like oh, what oh three? Yeah, oh three. We'll just do that. We'll try that one first. So ten oh three. We'll just try it and see if that works. There we go. Okay. So that didn't work. Cool. All right. So it's probably the other clock. The one in the main room. Which is right here. All right. This is the exact same thing. This is the exact same. Dang it. They're the exact same times. So. I was mistaken. Okay. Interact. We're going to do this. Was there another clock? I don't think there was another clock, right? Wait. There was a time somewhere, wasn't there? Or wait. Maybe this one? 12.15? Wonder if you have stamina in this game. Doesn't appear. Okay, why can't I take this with me? <sighs> Where would the other See I tried that. Where would the other one be? Appreciate you uh, throwing those commands for me, by the way, as, as well, Espresso. Appreciate that. There was a time somewhere, wasn't there? Ooh. Was there a clock in this? Did I don't want to reopen this? No, there wasn't. Okay. It's locked. Of course it is. This individual has a variety of freaking different, uh, what's it called? No time in that. No time in that. Binoculars. I didn't read that wrong. That does say 10 oh, what, like 10 03 ish, 10 03, 10 04. I tried that. Um, where else could Where else could the time be? Uh, 
Uh, investigate the relationship between the children and the old man with the secret legacy. Okay. So I think I'm done with that, so I can put that one away. Photo or painting? Possibly? Woman's gaze seems to be to hide something. Well then open it! I can see that there's a hinge. <laughs> Just rip it open. It'll be fine. Okay. Was there like a time on here that I was just not paying attention to or something? There's a... That's a Eureka painting. Oh, gosh. Eureka! No, okay. Okay. Investigate the relationship between the children and the old man with the secret legacy. Okay, cool. So... Cool, so it did save my point that I need to figure out the time. Uh, so we need to keep looking around for something dealing with time. So you can type in the typewriter. I can type in the typewriter. But I don't know if that's going to do me any good right now because I don't have the words to type in the typewriter just yet. And I still have that, that thing for the A, B, C, D, E, F as well. Just dusty stack of papers. Oh boy. Uh, strange for the family name. Let's go try it. S T R A N G E. Unfortunately not. Mm. It has something to do with the, the building blocks and the... Uh, what are the clues in that room again? So, the only clue... The, this is the biggest clue for the typewriter, is I assume that we have to find the building blocks. Which I assume are going to be in the... Likely the game room. But to get to the game room, I have to go through this door over here which is locked from the other side. So the way to get there from the other side, I assume, is to go through the ballroom or to go through the private room, which is also locked from this little section over here and right here, which I can show you real quick. So this, I assume, will take me to the music room or that hallway leading up to the music room. And then over here, should open. This is locked, and this will take me to the art room, which could also take me to the game room. So, yeah. Um, all right. So there's not really any clues. Ooh, there are lighters right here. Or uh, candles. Hold on. Let me equip this. Maybe we can... What is going on with this freaking light? The screen got brighter for a second? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out if... Is that just the lighter? Like... Oh. oh what was that? Like, I had the lighter equipped. It's so a gas lighter equipped. That might just be the, uh, yeah, it's kind of randomly flashing. That has nothing to do, I don't think that has anything to do with the, uh, the lighter itself. Okay. No worries. No big deal. No big deal. 
really the only two places that we have available to us right now are the study and the library. Um, the next tip or hint or whatever, insert Caesar here, right? Um, I do repent, but heaven hath pleased it, so to punish me with this and this with me, that I must be their scourge and minister. I will bestow them, I will bestow him, and will answer well the death I gave him. So again, good night. I must be cruel only to be kind. Thus bad begins, worst remains behind. Did you try Hamlet or Shakespeare in the typewriter? See, that's the thing. I don't think the type. I think the typewriter, based on the clue that's in that drawer next to the typewriter, is that has to do something with the building blocks. So maybe Eureka. E U R E K A. The fuck am I witnessing? This is a scary game. E U R E K A. Oops. E U R. Wait. 745. Yeah, but sometimes it's non diplume So it was the building blocks. It was the building blocks in that oops in my in the library. This is a game called um Crimson the the uh thing at Crimson Manor. So seven, so it's gonna be right there. And that's at forty five, right? So nom de plume. Excuse me. God. Oh god. Oh goodness. How you doing, Dan? Thanks for popping in, bud. Appreciate you. I assume it's gonna be like this. The scariest part was the thought of you in pasty white makeup and black lipstick while you read that. Oh god. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, Dan. You're you're ridiculous. Oh, cool. Got the key. I assume the key goes to this. Yeah, I'm not French. I bullshit it. That's fair. That's fair. It's locked. Okay. So, this key, where does this key go? Where does this key go? Does it go to this room over here? Maybe. Nope. Does it tell me what room it goes to? Strong box key. A long golden key appears to be a key to a safe. Hello? Can I not use the key? Oh, I forgot you had to push space. That's so stupid. Forgot the Jinko jeans. Oh my gosh. Okay. In the manor's art room, guarded by cold, timeless heroes, lies my life's work. A priceless legacy destined to change the way we understand the world and the future of humanity itself. This is my true legacy, and it will await eternally for the one who demonstrates the four unshakable virtues under which I directed my own life. So remember, um, Lion, Gear, Hourglass, Castle. Got it. Understanding my favorite passage from Hamlet is the beginning to understand my legacy. The what it was the uh, Prince of Denmark, the tragic history of Prince of Denmark. Okay, um, what was the quote again? I must be cruel only to be kind. Okay, You're ridiculous. Okay, what else can we do? Because that's literally all I know. Um, Lion, Gearcog, Hourglass, Castle. How do we get up to the... It's just in the art room, right? Yeah, in the manor's art room. <coughs> Excuse me. In the manor's art room. So the art room's right here, but how do I get up there? That door's locked. Watch this door be unlocked now. I tried. Yes. Thank you, Espresso. Art 
room's right here, so. Sorry about that. Um, I mean, the only other way I can check the art room is up through here, but this door appears to be locked. Um, how else can we get to the art room? We need the coat, right? The, uh, maybe upstairs we can get there? I don't think so. I don't know. This is... What's some other things that we haven't done yet in these two rooms? So, we've done the globe. We've done this little thing. We've done this map. Uh, we've done this. So, that's everything out of this. Okay, Emma. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are y'all doing? What are you doing? That's the question, Espresso. This is the only one we haven't done yet. Um, so, let's think about this. What... What do we do with the A, B, C, D, E, F books? I don't know where this has any type of... See, I don't know. Caught Elmo. Thanks. Appreciate that, Dan. I must be... I must be cruel only to be kind. This is perhaps my favorite line from Shakespeare's work. I'm thinking maybe if we can hit... The, if we can get the... Wait a minute. Is there anything else in here that will give me some type of idea? No, there's not, Harry Potter. Caught Oprah? I mean, will she be able to help me too? <laughs> G-H-I-J-K-L. I'm thinking... Let me just... Cab fed. <laughs> Call Tom Cruise. Oh my goodness gracious. You guys are unhelpful. Dab back. Dab kef. Daf cab. Def cab. Deb Calf. Avada Kedavra. Elaborate Sour Patch Kids ad. Cruel to be kind, sour than sweet. Oh my god. Uh, did you ask it nicely? Can you just fucking work? Yep, yeah, I did. It didn't work as well. Um. Heh, <laughs> it stayed. That's cool. I like that. So there has to be something I'm missing. Some type of clue of some sort I'm missing. That would provide me with the answer or the explanation to that. This is for the art room. And it says right here, understanding my favorite passage from Hamlet is the key to beginning to understand my legacy. But what of Hamlet? I'm the worst at games like this. Me too. Me too. Prince of Denmark. The tragical history of Hamlet. Emma's best at escape room type shit? That's fair. What is in here again? It's this one. Criminal Instinct. Volume number... Okay, so volume three, number 11. Let's keep an eye on the differences between these. Little Bundle Edition. February 27th, 1989. Or 88. 19... No, 1889. Bro. Words are hard, right? Goodness gracious. Alright. Uh, another one was in here. There was another one in the study, I believe. Where was it at? Where, where was it at in the study? Was it in the study? Yeah, it's right here. The Butcher of Oxford Street. He was from the future. March 6th, 1889. Volume 3, number 12 as well. What was the other one called? Scarlet Widow. Okay. Oh, there was 11? What? It was 11. You're right. Scarlet Widow was volume 3, number 11. Thank you, Dan. My brain isn't working properly right now. 
The Butcher of Oxford Street was number 12. Wait. No, open back up. Uh, Butcher of Oxford Street Pocket Edition. Criminal Instinct. I'm trying to think of what in this. I'm trying to plan. I'm, I gotta figure out because I don't think I have six of them. I don't think I've seen six of them. Um, I think I've only seen like three, maybe four. Maybe four. Um, number fifth, uh, content, uh, Continental Union Telegram be fulfilled. All right, that doesn't help me. Lost my pocket watch somewhere in my office. I count on your valuable collaboration to find it. When done, please leave the key to my desk inside the mail organizer in the hall outside. That's where I found the key to the library, I think. There's nothing unusual in here. I don't believe that one bit. Again, nothing unusual in here. All right, that's cool, that's cool. Thank you for all the rage emotes, I appreciate that. Nothing unusual, nothing unusual, nothing unusual, nothing, okay. All right, espresso, are you having fun? Is there anything on the glasses? Maybe something just decipherable. I'm, I feel like I'm like doing national treasure type stuff right now. All right. The ABCD puzzle, can you turn it or use the other letters? No, uh, it, it only, it goes straight for the uh, like I tried to do that a second ago, and it um pushed me automatically back to uh the ABC. I'll show you again here, though. I will show you again, my friend. So if I do like down here, does this? I hate this. Not only is it just that it's. Would you think it had something to do with Hamlet? I don't know. Look, look, guys, <laughs> look, look, guys, we don't need to talk about that, all right? <clears throat> all right, so there's obviously, I wonder, hold up, hold up, I wonder. No, okay, so they can't change between them, but they can't. Now they can. <laughs> so this one doesn't turn left and right. Spell Hamlet. Is Hamlet six letters? Guys. Guys. Hold up. Did you guys just figure this out? Yes. Yes, yes. I know Azrin. I'm doing that. Don't worry. There's no M. Am I? Why did that move over? I'm dumb. Don't ask questions, alright, guys. I know. Now do it backwards while standing on one foot to prove you're sober. Okay. All right, I don't need that kind of sass. Why did the M go over there? I don't remember moving the M around. Apologies, I made dinner. I'm here. No, you don't have to apologize. Oh. Camleth. Thank you, Espresso. Guys, I am not the best at spelling, okay? No! It was that close to being done! <laughs> Please, guys. Alright. I'm gonna say this right now. Everybody, do me a favor. Go add this game to your wish list. It's supposed to be released in quarter one of 2022, and I am super excited because this game is something else. You win. Solid effort, bro. Thank you. So it says it's a narrative horror puzzle game set in a beautiful... Uh, what's the horror aspect of it? Well-balanced logic inventory, non-linear exploration gameplay, rich but intrusive story, but not intrusive story, multi multiple play modes and collectibles. I am honestly impressed. 
I think, can we see? So it's developed by Media City Games. Right? Yeah, Media City Games. There were quite a bit of murdery references. There were. Creepy abandoned mansion equals horror? Maybe. Maybe. It wasn't really abandoned. It was just the, um, you're, you're figuring out about a murder and everything. And I assume that they're going to have some type of horror aspects once they actually uh, push out the full actual game. Um, I'm, I'm impressed. I am thoroughly impressed. Um, puzzle adventure game developer now working on a 3D narrative first person horror puzzle game. I'm thoroughly impressed. Um, and that was the inheritance of Crimson Manor, the demo version of it. The full version will be released sometime soon within the next couple of months. Uh, I gotta say I'm very impressed with the game. The overall gameplay, the overall style of it, just how it looks as well. It's a very, it's a very beautiful game, and I'm interested to see what they do. It is a horror game, so I'm interested to see the horror aspect that they add into the game, and I'm, you know, curious to see how it's going to fit in with the rest of the uh, rest of the demo and how the puzzles will get harder, and uh, how much more. How much more of an idiot I'll look like in some of these cases. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe. If you stayed this late, I got to say thank you so very much. This is two, over two and a half, over two hours and 45 minutes at that. And I'm very grateful. Um, I don't expect anybody to ever stay this long in one of my videos. So this is just, you know, one of those things. But anyway, thank you guys again so very much. You can find all the links for the game on Steam. So you can wish this was on Game Jolt. And you can find all my social links in the description below as well. I'll see you guys later. Take care.